Okay, it's been a minute since I have shown up. I recorded some videos, intended to, what's it called, post them, but you know, I just wasn't feeling led. Um, I am not feeling that well. I feel like now's a great time to, first of all, this is like my first time, not first time, this is my first time doing my makeup in a minute. Um, I just did my hair. I'm making a major change to it in a couple of weeks for my birthday. So I am just, I am just enjoying uh, attempting to style it for right now. So because, <coughs> excuse me, because I have not done my makeup in a minute and you know, it's kind of been warm in LA during the day. It's like really weird. It's like super cold at night, foggy. And then during the day, it's super warm you know la fall la vibes um i was like i'm gonna just slick it back i was wearing my u part for a minute and then i was wearing my fitted snapback actually for a minute and i was like you know what i just don't want any hair down i just want to slick it back and i feel like when my hair is slicked back i uh, you know you show your face you show your face so anywho i'm gonna do my makeup i hope it comes out good i think I'm not super dark. I think I'm gonna use my Mac today. Um, but anyway, in my newsletter, I was sharing how I recently, I recently had my, actually, close this just in case. I recently had my whole health, like women's whole health exam and um, uh, got some blood work, which you should do if you haven't done it, especially if you're a mom. I one had been looking for a new physician my physician prior to pregnancy switched like practices so she was like a sports med doctor but did like primary care or whatever and then she was like I'm going back to what I like and what I'm used to which good for you sis like do what you need to do um but I haven't had a solid physician since and honestly doctors and like all these mystery costs even with insurance like there's just a million things that i was just like you know i'm not really into it so i um started going to this place called tia which is a new a new place and i don't know i feel like i know the history but like not fully but anyway they recently opened more spots but basically it's like a new type of healthcare for women um it's just better warmer nicer different than going to the hospital which if i can avoid at all cost i ain't gone like let me just tell you right now i i ain't gone so um i went to tia got my blood work done the blood work came back quickly also which I feel like the hospital will be taken ages and ages and they try to charge you for all these millions of different things and it's just like isn't this part like isn't this a part of my whole health care <clears throat> so and anyways i ended up finding out that i um i ended up finding out that i my white blood cell count was a little high and my neutrophils or neurophils i think it's neutrophil were a little high as well so when you're white blood cells are elevated that is it can be a number of things but because mine aren't like severe it's not like cancer or anything um so i'm not worried about that but because my neutrophils were high that could mean that well it means that i'm either fighting inflammation or fighting an infection and uh, obviously i have no idea what infection or inflammation like what it came from i'm not sure etc um because it's internal so got the blood work done i have a follow-up on monday which I'm excited about because i want to know what's going on but anyway 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 the whole reason why all of this came up was i was already going to the doctor okay my period was a month it's it, it hasn't come back it's it was it was regular i'm still breastfeeding 11 months going strong and i went to texas with my girlfriends we're all um you know when you stay in a house with women um for and it was our husbands too but when you stay in a house with women obviously your cycles and everything your hor your hormones and all of that just kind of sync up get all crazy so it wasn't weird to me that my period was late for any reason um but i took a pregnancy test because i'm like you know i'm married 
and we do want another kid, not at this exact moment. So I was like, let me just nip that in the bud because if it's pregnancy, then I know what all this is coming from, but I'm not pregnant, which for me right now is fantastic. Um, but we don't know. I don't know right now what it is, but anyway, I was just like tired and then I started to feel nauseous. So like literally I felt fine. My appointment after that, everything was fine. And then I feel like the following week, which technically, did I go last week? I feel like I went last week. So technically, maybe it was two weeks ago. I'm not sure, but anyway, I just started to feel like tired, like nauseous. So to me, pregnancy symptoms, period symptoms, things that to me aren't uncommon when it's about to be that time of the month. Um, but anyway, I was just feeling crazy. So then I got the like report back or whatever about my neutrophils and what blood cell count, my iron was low. So stuff like that, like I was already expecting. And this isn't the first time that I've actually, I wasn't really rubbed in that well. This isn't the first time that my white blood cell count has been high. Um, hey. Okay, my husband just needs to interrupt me real quick, but um, what was I saying? This isn't the first time that my white blood cell count has been slightly elevated. I think it elevated a bit when I was pregnant, um, but again, so I'm not like super concerned. I take really good care of myself. I'm not even like eating crazy. I normally eat the same things when it comes to like fast food, um, but because of that, that some of those particular things could be the reason why this is happening. So anywho, trying to figure out what that is, is currently where I'm at. So um, yeah, I have a follow up on Monday and I'm just taking it day by day. I just know that I don't like how I feel and feeling like tired and just like, you know, listening to my body and all that stuff. It's one of those things where it's just like, I wanna to get to the bottom of this and then I wanna make sure that I'm doing whatever I can to make sure that this isn't happening again because I just wanna be my healthiest and be ready for another baby and like all of that stuff. So anyway, 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 um, yeah, that's what's been going on. So I just have been, in the space where, one, I've been on threads a lot, so I haven't really been on Instagram, but I'm just trying to, where is my matte foundation? But maybe I shouldn't use that. Where is it, where is it? Um, hmm. well, this is interesting. Well, let's see, let me boop bop. If it's not in any of these two things, I literally have no idea, oh, it's literally, it's literally right there. Let's see, are we? Yeah, we're gonna go with this today. And maybe I'll mix a little with the Ami Cole. And we'll kind of go from there. But anyway, 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 that's what's been going on. So I've been trying to film and I just feel like I haven't like loved what I've been filming. And it's not like that deep, but for me, I always want to put out what I love and what I'm like happy with, and what I'm confident with. And I don't know. I'm just still in this era of figuring out like content wise what I want to put out who and what I'm doing going forward I'm a, almost a year into motherhood my birthday I turned 33 soon so I'm just you know we're just trying to we're trying to figure it out so that's what's been going on um that's kind of where I'm at right now and I'm just taking it one day at a time today I'm gonna run some errands with my mom I kind of want to try to do vlogmas we shall see um i feel like this would be i mean this obviously wouldn't be for vlogmas i would post this before then but i feel like it would be a good start like i want to redo my intro there's just a lot of things that i want to just like redo so i'm just kind of in that space right now but i was like you know what i'm a film i feel like actually be right back <laughs> I just kind of want to, um, what's it called? Don't let me forget to take my iron, y'all. <laughs> I'm just figuring it out. So I'm not rushing. I'm not forcing anything. I'm just, you know, we're just letting it all, letting it all happen. So this hairstyle is inspired by Kim K. I was, um, and judge your mother, but I was watching the Kardashians and in her confessional, she had her hair like sort of slicked, little middle part, 
thing, her ponytail was a little bit higher because this is like a wrap ponytail. Um, it's not gonna like sit that high unless I like boop, 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 really pull it up. But anyway, so that's where the ponytail vibes came from, even though y'all know I'm a ponytail girl. But anyway, I was like, I'm gonna hop on here, I'm gonna film, I'm gonna do my makeup, and we're gonna go from there. Where's my lip stuff? I need new lip stuff. I was peeping game at what I, be right back. I guess I'll just wear some of the remainder of my Dior lip glow while I do my makeup. But I was, um, what was I doing? I was looking at some of the things that I was considering buying for the, from the rather Sephora sale. And I really wanted to focus on fragrance, like skincare wise, I think I'm pretty good right now. I'm just trying to focus on my skin. I've been using Good Jeans. Here we go. I've been using Good Jeans by Sunday Riley and um, my discount code will be posted. Um, it's available until the end of the year. So if you, you know, Sunday Riley is definitely a luxury, a luxury brand. So if you're interested, my code will be up there. You'll get 25% off, it's good to the end of the year. So shop your little hearts out. Now's a great time if you ask me. Um, but anyway, I am pretty good on skincare. So I'm not really like needing to do anything with skincare. I wanted to focus mostly on fragrance. However, back, back, back in the day for the fragrance girlies, y'all know, and they still do this, they're, um, what's it called? They're like fragrance, they're like perfume sampler. And then the like, not almost say OG one, but the, uh, sort of original one you get what's it called um what am i trying to say you get a travel size that's like so you you know you have all the samples and then you redeem your coupon and then you get a travel size so this one that they have and i'm sure it's not the first time they've had it but my first time noticing it but this one um if you were to redeem you would get a full size but so i gotta read the comments first of all it's 85 dollars for a bunch of minis that are this size like let's start there first of all crazy but i was like okay but for a full size like that's not that bad that's not that bad read the comments because the girlies were like absolutely freaking not this is not worth it and it seems only worth it for the girls that were for the girls that are into tom ford like if you want tom ford then someone was like because obviously tom ford's like a one ounce is like still a hundred and some odd bucks um so if you're wanting tom ford like it may be it may be a good buy for you i'm not 100 percent sure but a lot of the fragrances that are already in there one i've tried or i have so like flower bomb carolina herrera good girl um dolce and gabbana light blue what else um i'm like what else what else what else is on there um just a number of but pretty pretty what's it called common fragrances um, so I don't like none of them were really going to be like new to me with an exception of the Tom Ford. And it's like, what if I don't want ombre leather? Like, what if I want bitter peach? Like, what if I want something different? So I just think of stuff like that. But anywho, anyway, 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 reading, reading the reviews, um, the girls were like, eh, eh, it's not all that half of the samplers, those little mini ones, by the way, were like half empty and I partially don't blame Sephora for that. I feel like that's like packaging because of like, you know, evaporation, it's alcohol, it's perfume, like stuff like that sometimes you can't control. But saying all that to say, I'm not paying $85 for half empty samples. Like what? That sounds crazy. Um, so I figured I'm not gonna do that. I'm just going to re-up on some of my lip stuff, some lip balm, oil, gloss, all those things. And I'm gonna just stick to my big fragrance houses because I would like a new fragrance from Byredo. I would like to get a new or my first um Lalabo fragrance. Um I really want to buy another 13. So I'm just like let me just do what I want to do and not try to force, you know, buying all this stuff from the Sephora sale. I'm pretty good on everything, so I'm not super I'm not super concerned about it. Okay, this is 
this is giving but anyway so yeah i'm not going crazy for the sephora sale i am and i actually look i'm not even going to get it off of sephora anymore either i'm going to get it off of amazon i need to get some hand sanitizer because we go to disneyland for my baby's first birthday in less than a month we're going at the the first weekend in december and i'm just so freaking excited one because Disneyland is just so joyful, so fun. It's such a core memory from my own childhood. And now being a mom and being able to take my son, who is just such a fun kid. Like he literally, when we're in the, when, when we're, when we're in the stroller together, when I'm pushing him in his stroller, he's just like always holding on to his little like handlebar. He just loves it. He just has such a good time. So I just know it's going to be so fun for him. Like my whole family's coming, my mom, my aunt, dad, like everyone. So it's just going to be a big core memory <clears throat> for all of us. Only my mom and I have gone recently. We actually went in 2021, I think. And then my husband and I used to go every Christmas. And then we used to go for Mickey's like Halloween party or what do they call the Oogie Boogie Bash. So they're special events basically. And um, yeah, now we're going and it's their Christmas decor, all of that. So all of the pumpkin and Halloween stuff is now down. So yeah, I'm just really, I'm really looking forward to it. Um, so yeah, that's what we're planning for. I need to figure out his balloons for his birthday. We're gonna, gonna have my balloon <clears throat> my amazing excuse me balloon girl bring some balloons over and just like put them up on the ceiling that whole thing and just keep it really simple I'm really 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 glad that I wasn't trying to force a big first birthday party as a November baby it's always so tough because it's the holidays people are traveling we may be traveling in December like there's just a number of things so I just was like you know I'm glad I'm, I didn't force it he'll be able to at least like play and stuff like he's not a, f a huge fan of the ball pit which we discovered recently at other birthday parties so there's just a number of things um that i'm like you know it's cool we can wait we can wait that out so we gonna wait it out and just fuck it out at disneyland and eat good and enjoy all the vibes so that's kind of where i'm at right now i'm kind of winded i feel like i had a lot to say and didn't stop but i'm also winded because of whatever this like ailment is that is just sucking my energy um and if it's just like a temporary infection like i know it's gonna go away and i know i'll be fine but right now i'm like whoa I'm a little tired but anyway 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 um so yeah that's what is going on so today my mom is coming because she's like now that my son is older and it's not my family's fault that they like and I hope they don't feel this way but like it's not like I'm not asking for help there's just a lot of moving parts in my husband and I's life and it's just easier for us to just boom 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 and I'm back at home and then I'm good but my mom's like obviously and my aunt can obviously ask for help which I obviously know I have a great village so it's not like their fault um but yeah, I just, I need some assistance today while I go look for some holiday decor. Not going super crazy. I'm going to stick to our theme from last year, which was black. We did like black, we did like black on black basically with um, like a houndstooth black and white wrapping paper. So I'm going to make it a little more like chic this year. Um... I have some inspo. Maybe if I can do it properly, I'll like share it here. Um, this is like my holiday inspo, what I'm looking for, what I'm going for. I really wanna like add some bows to the tree uh, or some ribbon rather, like individual, not like when you loop it through, it's not really my vibe, but I, um, yeah, from what I've been seeing on Pinterest, I'm gathering my little, my inspo, you know. Where's my, what's it called? So that's kind of what I'm going for, so. I was going to, I don't think I should drive that far just for the simple fact that it'll wear me so far out. Um, I was gonna go to the H&M home store. We have one at Topanga. Topanga's not super far. It's just off the 101, but it's not super close either. And I'm just like, because I'm so tired, I don't think I should make that move today. 
even though I'll have my mom with me, but I just don't feel like I need to make that particular move. So I'm gonna keep it simple, keep it cute. I'm gonna go to Ikea. Ikea, I feel like when it comes to like little decor and like candles and things of that nature, candle holders, they have really, really good stuff. Plus um, they recently emailed about their, um, they recently emailed about like, like, you know, what they have and whatnot. So I'm just like, okay, mm, that's feeling a little, it's feeling a little low. It's feeling a little, a, a little low. So we're gonna, we're gonna, okay, okay, okay. This was a good, I'm glad I decided to mix, to go back to mixing, what's it called? Um, but what I was trying to say was, I'm gonna go to Ikea. I think I really want to do like solo candles this year, like stick candles, um, which is really a vibe. It's really nice, it's romantic. Um, and yeah, I said, I don't need a whole lot of stuff. And my goal is to always try to still reuse what I have and then just like add on to it. So I'm not like going to get a whole new like theme this year. Um, so yeah that's kind of what the plan is so we're gonna go to ikea going to look around maybe maybe we'll go to like costa mesa maybe i'll go to home goods haven't decided home goods the ones that i feel like should be popping they don't really be that popping and maybe i'm late maybe maybe it's me i don't know um maybe it's just because everyone has got all the good stuff i don't know but i um, I haven't really been feeling the home goods that I've been going to. So I'm just gonna, you know, we're gonna see, we're just gonna see, see where it takes us. I'm not gonna try to do too much. I am not gonna like wear myself out over it. I'm just gonna do what I can. And we gonna call it a day, okay? We gonna call it a day. So lately when I've been doing my makeup i've been using this brush for my under eye concealer but i think i was just using which i didn't mind though like a little too much concealer so i'm using less I'm using less now um but i'm gonna go in after with my what's it called beauty blender um but yeah so that's kind of like what's been going on i've really been wanting to film for youtube i've been wanting to vlog but i'm also just like even with the small camera like to me shout out to the the, the like true vlog girlies like i i'm not gonna say i admire you or not admire you because that's not <laughs> like that sounds so mean but like i just think it's really cool that you know like y'all can commit to that um, I'm not sure if it's something that I want to commit to because I'm like, first of all, I live in LA. Like, I don't live in some little, you know, you can't just be, you can just be out here vlogging, but like, you gotta be careful. You know, people, people watch how you move and I watch how people move and y'all not gonna get me because I'm too busy vlogging and not paying attention and all that stuff carrying on. So, I feel like when I vlog and stuff, it's gotta be when someone's with me, when I have like another party that can like kind of take care of the responsibilities because um, yeah, it's just, yeah. I just have to pay attention to what I'm doing. That's how I move. So anyway, 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 my mother is coming with me. So I'm going to attempt to do some vlogging and you know we'll just kind of see how it goes i'm not gonna make it super crazy i feel like this is a good this is good practice for me to get into for me to get into vlogmas and i'm trying to think about what we have coming up and things of that nature so aside from taking care of my health which is definitely the highest priority on my list um yeah that's kind of that's kind of where we're at with things so i love it here though and i'm really glad to be back talking to y'all i've clearly had a lot to say um and yeah i don't mind that this is going to be a kind of long vlog because i feel like i'm 
like what's the point of trying to force it into a short vlog like if y'all are gonna watch it y'all are gonna watch it and if you're not then you know that's cool too it'll still be here when y'all are ready so anyway 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 i'm just about done i just need to set my face set my face i kind of want to bring my concealer like not down but i don't know just like boop 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 um but yeah so that's what's been that's what's been popping off and like i said i've been on threads and there's been a lot of jesus talk a lot of there's been a lot happening on threads but i love it there and i think the reason why i like threads one is because the community it's easy to build community because nothing else is what's the word nothing else is needing to be added in order for people to want to connect with you so there's no video like you can post videos we post pictures all that good stuff but it's not like i need to make a reel for you to then see my profile or for you to then connect with me it's like the for you page for is it for you or the yeah because the following page is who i'm following so the for you page it's literally like anyone so anyone's threads can pop up like one of my threads i had talked about skims because they just signed this is also skims just signed um that deal with the nba to be the official underwear partner like first of all that's insane i don't care what you have to say about the kardashian jenner's whatever 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 but you have to admit business wise that is an insane deal for them um and i always say don't forget about emma emma and jen's behind the scenes because the greedies which i just found out is greedy not greed but the greedies are definitely the ceos and the the geniuses behind the brand though yes we know that your girl kim can market her booty off but anyway um little things like that have gone like threads viral and it's just like you just never know who's gonna see it and i don't know it's fun over there i like the conversation i like being able to talk to people and not only when my caption is deep and not only when you know my reel is perfect like i don't know it's just nice to just talk to people outside of all of that and then when those little things come up like that's just a bonus you know so that's that's what's happening over on threads that's where i be at okay um what else so yeah holiday decor figuring out my baby's birthday and just taking care of myself i what am i trying to do y'all what, what, what am i doing i'm all over the place now i um yeah i am just looking forward to the holiday season like i always do um when we let's see so my grandmother passed away it's been a year already which is crazy so this will be our second thanksgiving actually without her. i don't even know what i did for thanksgiving last year to be honest like i don't i don't remember i might have gone to our family friend's house which we normally do because a couple of our family friends and it's such a blessing they live in our neighborhood so it's just easy to go up the street but now that i have the baby like obviously i want my son to like make core memories with our family and not just and not just like you know breeze over that like that's super important to me too because i've i loved all of our times of for thanksgiving like you know my mom and my aunt would be in the kitchen prepping i never did anything because your girl's not really a cook like that like i'm trying to hire a private chef like here's the supplies please provide for my family um so you know little things like that but i just want to create some new core memories like for the holidays whether it's like movie nights or just all of us getting together and doing stuff that he'll remember and that we'll remember um and you know just making things special i'm close with my mom's side of the family and um yeah we'll just leave it there i uh, like other people you know you've got your family things your family ties but um yeah i'm closer with my mom's side of the family so i just try to yeah focus on that not stretch myself too thin trying to be 50 million places for the holidays so yeah we looking are we looking 
Um, and yeah, that's I think like the major updates. I haven't blogged in a while. I, again, and it's just one of those things like, aside from this whole like health thing, it's just like, okay, like what do I really want to do? I would love to like have my own like skincare, not even like skincare line, but like lip balm, like stuff. Like I want products. Like yes, working with brands is cool and I applaud everyone who has like really done that and made that a thing and it's fun to work with brands, all that, but I'm like, I want something that's mine. Tired of just doing what's best for y'all, okay? With y'all's briefs and y'all's ideas and y'all want me to have my nails done and have my eyeshadow blue and have stiletto, like, mm -mm, mm -mm. y'all are requesting a lot for very little money. So I um, am like, okay, 30, I'm about to be 33. I'm someone's mother. Like what's, what's next for me? Like what? what's my long-term thing what's my big girl my big girl project so we're gonna see we're gonna see but for right now we're chilling so that is kind of what the plan is today and then you know we'll go from there update you guys on my holiday decor and things and we'll just kind of see what happens but my mom will be here to help so that'll be fun and then yeah that's pretty much it. So I'm going to finish my makeup. I'll probably speak through this last part instead of talking. And then yeah, I'll be back.